Hey everybody, welcome back to Be Unique. I'm so excited to go ahead and jump right in and tell you what's been going on. But today's video, before I do an updated video, I wanted to go ahead and make 2019 what it's supposed to be for in my YouTube channel. And we're gonna go ahead and start this video with a fresh face and my favorite red lips. Um, and I wanted to go ahead and tell you that uh, I'm doing a series um, I have my own, uh, my own skincare line. And so if you don't know anything about that, uh, I will definitely put all the information in the description box so you can get a better idea of what I'm talking about. <laughs> but today, um, if you're part of my, uh, my Podwina Thao newsletter, my tribe, you understand exactly what I'm going to say. Um, I'm bringing you a, a free video, obviously a nice little surprise for my tribe members and my VIP members. Um, thank you so much for riding out with me and sticking with me and trying my products and supporting my brands and supporting my, my products. I, I really, really appreciate that. And I thank you for that. It helps us to keep going and to keep making products and to keep helping people like you. So without further ado, I wanted to go ahead and, um, give you knowledge about how to go about your skin and how to uh, start and continue along with your skin journey. So that's what this video or that's what the series is gonna be about. And so if you checked your newsletter, if you haven't, shame on you, you should go ahead and check your newsletter. <laughs> you know exactly what I'm gonna say. Um, it says the topic for today, it is the difference between a good cleanser and a good cleanse. I'm reading straight from my phone, so uh, don't mind me looking down. But the difference between a good cleanser and a good cleanse. Because, you know, if you think about it, you can have a good cleanser, but if you don't know how to properly cleanse your face, it is not beneficial for you. You're just kind of, you know, you're kind of not benefiting your skin in any way just because you have a good, uh, a, a good cleanser. So I'm going to break down exactly what I mean. Um, I broke it down in the email, but I want to go more in depth in more of a video form. So for the people that aren't, they don't like reading, <laughs> this is the video for you, or this is a video you want to watch. So, because it goes into depth about what, uh, the newsletter was about. Okay. So it says, you can always have a good cleanser, but not know how to use it properly. I totally agree because I remember before going to esthetician school, um, I would just pick up cleansers that I know that would, that seems right for my skin <laughs> and what my skin was doing at the time. So if I felt like my skin was oily at the time, I would, I would wash it with a certain cleanser. And if my skin was dry, I knew I needed to to gain some kind of moisture because whatever your skin is telling you, you want to do the opposite. So that's what I thought. So, um, here are some tips below to know the difference. Okay. So a cleanser is a product that cleans the face from impurities. That's pretty much what it is. It cleanses the face and it should leave the face feeling clean. Okay. So from impurities that is left on top of the skin, so let's say, you know, you wash your face, you go throughout the day. Um, as you're going throughout the day, your skin will, will build up dirt <laughs> and um, debris and everything that you've been around. So that means not necessarily just going outside. It can be in your room. It can be in your living room, in your house. Um, it can be at your job. Even if you're inside, your face is experiencing some level of debris or uh, skin impurities, okay? So that is why you should be washing your face every day, day and night, okay? So here are some tips below to know the difference. Um, like I said, the cleanser is a product that cleans impurities off of your face that's left on top of the skin. Cleansers should cleanse, but not overly strip your face. Okay. So just keep in mind that a cleanser only cleans whatever the surface is giving. So it doesn't dig deep inside into your skin. It doesn't do that. It just cleans on wh whatever is going on on top of your face. So <laughs> if your skin is affected by whatever is going on internally, that is a different 
avenue. That is a different uh, arena of um, what your skin can be affected by, okay? Because as we all know, your skin is the largest organ in your body. And if you don't understand that, I feel like people hear that, but they don't understand what that means. So when your, your skin is the largest organ of your body, that means that it is affected by whatever you're doing to it. Meaning that whatever you're eating, whatever you're drinking, whatever you're intaking inside your body, your skin is being affected. And if your skin is going to be affected, whether good or bad, it's telling you what's going inside. It's a telltale warning of what is happening inside your body. And if you don't do anything about it, it will just probably keep erupting depending on what it is. Okay. So just keep in mind that whatever you put inside, it will come out, <laughs> whether good or bad. So like I said, cleansers should cleanse, but not overly strip your face. So a lot of cleansers that are on the market that you can purchase from, uh, Publix or Walmart or Target or anything, any stores like that, any drugstore like that, um, it has a level of chemicals in it as well as different forms of alcohol and salt. Okay. So what those do is that it can overly strip your face because is it has an excessive amount of chemicals for a couple of reasons. <laughs> One of the reasons is basically so they can, so you can keep buying the products, you know, they want something to continue to happen to your face so that you are continuing to purchase the products. Have you ever used a cleanser and then you stop using it? A drugstore cleanser at that you stop using it and your face starts to backfire. <laughs> starts to do exactly what it was doing before you use the cleanser. So something is happening. The chemicals is a telltale sign that something is happening from using those types of chemicals on directly on your face. Another thing um, I've noticed about, uh, and, and it could be body washes as well, anything, anything on the body or in the skin um, is that they would have chemicals. Like let's say you're looking at a product and it says um it has coconut and mango whatever that's the scent <laughs> that's the fragrance it's supposed to have you read on the back of that product and it doesn't have anything that has to do with coconut or anything that has to do with the mango these are made up chemicals to support what that smell or what that specific actual ingredient is supposed to do to the skin. So that's not good either. <laughs> you don't want a chemical to, to make believe what the product is supposed to be. That's not what you want. You want to have the real actual ingredient or real actual natural ingredient for your face to get the full benefit, right? So that is an issue. And I feel like a lot of people don't know about that. But that's not necessarily a great thing at all. So overly strip your face could mean um, you have tightness of the face. So if you ever had a cleanser and you're washing your face and your skin is like pulled so taut. Oh my God. And the only thing that's calming it down could be water to get its life back or to get the plumpness of your face back, your skin or a, some form of a great moisturizer, okay? So when you are cleaning your face, your face after you clean, after it's rinsed, should not feel tight. It should feel like your face, but clean, that's it. If your face is feeling tight from your own cleanser, just the cleanser alone, that is not the product you should be using on your face. Another thing, body washes and shampoos are not facial cleansers. Your skin on the rest of your body compared to your face are not the same, okay? They cannot be the same. <laughs> so I'm speaking of a drugstore related particular body wash and facial cleanser. They are not even made to be the same. You cannot put body washes, especially drugstore body washes on your face. However, if you are purchasing a natural product and it's a person that you actually can relate to like they uh, they have the knowledge or they have the credentials of um being an esthetician or a skin therapist and their products are safe to use on the body and the face it's kind of like a mostly purpose product then so be it 
But if it's not a product that you can use from, especially from a drugstore, and they claim that it's natural, <laughs> and they're like, yeah, you can go ahead and use it. No, you cannot go ahead and use it on your face, okay? Just remember that your skin on your body is completely different from the skin on your face. How it reacts, is, it might be completely different. So um, to keep going, so cleanse is to properly clean the surface of the skin and pores. So when you're cleaning your face, you're, you have to figure out, not have to figure out, it's in front of you. Your face is what needs to be cleaned. So every part of your face, everywhere that you see skin is where you should be cleaning your face. That's where you should be moving around the cleanser on your face, etc. Okay. You want to use upward and outward strokes of the face and neck. So what I meant by that is basically coming up and outward strokes. Why should you do upward and outward strokes is because of the type of skin that we have, right? No matter if you're black, white, Hispanic, whatever, skin is skin. So here's the thing though, you want to make sure that you are cleaning with inside and out. You want to make sure you're cleaning inside of your pores and coming out as well. Okay. And plus the way you're moving your muscles and your skin, you do want to move in an upward, outward motion. Okay. You don't want to pull your face down, you, but you do want to clean it. And then you want to only rinse with warm water, <laughs> warm water only. Here's why. When you are washing your body or when you're washing your hair and you're washing your skin, you do want to clean with warm water. Your skin is not meant to be um, rinsed, washed, cleaned with piping hot water. Your skin can burn, okay? And have a certain level of a uh, burn degree. You want to deal with warm water. That's one. Two, if you deal with hot water on your skin and your hair and the rest of your body, Nine times out of 10, your skin is super excessively dry that it forces you to put so much more moisture on after the fact when you could be preventing it from the beginning, okay? So you are stripping your face just because of the hot, hot water. You cannot do boiling hot water. Warm water to lukewarm water is where we're supposed to be taking it. That's it. <laughs> Even if you think it's cold, I'm sorry. Hot boiling water for your skin is not the not the right thing to do. It isn't. It does not help your skin. It actually it actually strips your skin and makes your skin very very excessively dry. You don't want to do that. So after rinsing, you want to use a paper towel to blot. I'm not a stickler for washing that have like 50 million towels and and, and washcloths. So I stick to a towel, uh, a paper towel. Paper towel is disposable. You're not gonna use it every day. <laughs> and you toss it out. You dampen your face. I'm sorry, you blot your face with a paper towel and you toss it in the trash. And paper towel is less expensive than um, trying to have your skin come out looking crazy because you've been using a towel every day and not wash it every day. <laughs> So not only that, but if you wash your towels every day, think of the detergent that you are using and it's still getting on your skin. You're washing it excessively every day. Okay. That's a problem. So if you're not going to do that, because I'm not, that raises my bills. So I'm definitely not going to do that. And I haven't been doing that. I change my towels every two to three days, but on my face, I definitely either air dry or if I feel like I'm in a rush, I need to go to work, blah, blah, blah. I'll use a paper towel to blot my face down to prepare for the moisture part of my skin routine. This actually really, really helps. And blotting instead of stripping and, and moving the paper towel all over my face, I just blot very gently all over my face. Boop, 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 boop. And then I move on to the rest of the skin routine. After a good cleanse and using the right cleanser, your skin should feel hydrated and plump before moisturizing. That's it. It shouldn't feel dry, taut, 
pulled nothing it should no dry patches no nothing it should feel clean moisturized and plump ready to move on to the next the next step and you know i'm gonna do a little shameless plug or whatever <laughs> but i wanted to go ahead and tell you about um our cleansing milk so this is the bottle and this is the size of the cleansing milk i know you can't really see but i'll probably put a picture inside the video of what what it actually looks like we have two scents um it's lavender and violet rose lavender is really great for it it's both of them are great for anybody but lavender is really really specifically great for anybody that has sensitive skin issues or just sensitive skin period this product the lavender one it's a two ounce bottle and <clears throat> it goes a long way okay so this particular if you're using it day and night one cleanse day and night expect it to last for about a month to a month and a half okay <clears throat> if you double cleanse like me <laughs> i definitely double cleanse now because i am pregnant again but if you if you double cleanse then every day then i would definitely um i would definitely maybe a month tops I would you this would probably run out in a month okay a little bit does go a long way you don't need a lot it is a gentle cleanser um, it, it's meant to just clean what it's supposed to clean off the top of the face and get rid of it and it leaves the face feeling so baby soft and smooth and hydrated and and glistening and glowy right before the moisturizer so I don't know any cleanser that does that except for mine so here it is, and the full name is um, Let Natal Cleansing Milk. And so we have a two ounce uh, size, and also we now uh, we now have an uh, an ounce size or a one point five size of a sample or a travel size. So if you would like to try, and you're trying to you're on the fence about our cleansing milk, and you're trying to figure out like, is this product actually for me? It is for you, but <laughs> I would want your skin to try it first. Here's the thing about natural products. I want to put a, a slight disclaimer um, natural products you want to make sure that it is um, just because it's natural doesn't mean that you're not gonna experience any um, reactions from it or whatever the case may be if you are allergic to something you're gonna be allergic to it whether it be natural chemical whatever the case may be all right so I do want to make sure that it this is out there and stated so have your skin allow your skin to try it and see what your skin is telling you if it wants to keep going with it if you're having a great reaction from it if your skin is loving the outcome from it continue to use it if you are somewhat um allergic to something that's inside those products then go ahead and email me and revisit what what else could work for you or we can make a custom product for you thank you so much for watching and stay tuned with the other series along with this one along with this uh, particular newsletter so if you haven't joined our newsletter just go ahead and look in the description box you'll see all the information that you need to grab your hands on and next time you'll see another video form just like this one bye